Ms. Legalista, aka Attorney Sheila here, wanting to bring you an update from the Tyree Nichols case. It's being reported by multiple media outlets that Desmond Mills Jr., one of the former Memphis police officers, is going to be changing his plea in relationship to the federal charges, not the state charges, the federal charges. So we can know what those charges are. Let's go over to the Department of Justice's website and see if we can pull that up and go back over those because it has been a long time since uh, we've looked at any of this. All right, five former Memphis police officers charged with federal civil rights conspiracy and obstruction violations in connection with the death of Tyree Nichols. And I'm just going to scroll back down here. You remember Tyree Nichols died in back in January. And let's scroll down here to check out what the counts were. So the first count you'll see here, it says of the indictment alleges that the defendants aided and abetted by one another violated Nichols' right to be free from the use of unreasonable force by a police officer by assaulting him and by failing to intervene in the unlawful assault. Count one also alleges that this offense resulted in bodily injury and the death of Nichols. Then you had count two of the indictment alleges that all five defendants violated Nichols' right to be free from a law enforcement officer's deliberate indifference to his serious medical needs. And then and there's more specifics there, but I'm just going over the counts here. Then we have count three of the indictment alleges that all five defendants conspired to cover up their use of an unlawful force by omitting material information and by providing false and misleading information to their supervisor and to others. And you can go back and look at the previous videos that I did that goes over the decertification documents that were submitted. And in those documents, you can see what the officers stated in their report. And this is what's being used in the counts that are listed here. So then count four of the indictment alleges that defendants committed an obstruction offense by intentionally omitting material information and providing false and misleading information to two MPD officers tasked with writing MPD reports about the arrest. It says counts one and two of the indictment carry a maximum penalty of life in prison Counts three and four each carry a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. So that's the update there. There is supposed to be a hearing tomorrow, and we'll hear from Blake Ballin, Mr. Desmond's attorney, about where things stand. And we'll have an update. Well, I guess if I get rid of that, we're supposed to hear from Blake Ballin, which is Mr. Mills' attorney. The information that was released said that he was just changing his plea. Mr. Mills was changing his plea. Now, some of the media outlets have said he was changing it to guilty, and they have since issued corrections. Literally, this has just come out in the last hour. And so they're now having to go back and put correction in there. Uh, attorney Ballon has only stated that he is changing his plea. The attorney did not state what the change was going to be. So hopefully that brings you up to speed with this case.